Hello, hello. In this video, we're adding an ammo system and reloading to our multiplayer FPS. All right, let's go. So let's open our weapon script. Okay, so let's make a new header for our ammo. And we'll create a public int called mags. And let's set this equal to five. Then, then let's add a public int for ammo and we'll set this equal to 30. And then one last thing, we'll add a public int called mag ammo and we'll set this equal to 30. So the mag will be how many magazines we start with, the ammo will be how much ammo we start with, and the mag ammo is the amount of ammo in each mag. All right, let's add a new function called reload if mag is greater than zero, mag minus minus, and then ammo equals to mag ammo. And then in this fire script, let's do ammo minus minus, and let's add a new input for reloading, so if input dot get key down key code dot r then let's call our reload function. So this is the very basic level of code, but we still have to make the animation and also the UI. So let's make a new header for the UI and we'll make a public text mesh pro UGI and make sure to import the reference to that in here so using text mesh pro and we'll make this UI for mag text and let's copy this and also make one for ammo text So in this reload method, let's set our mag text dot text equal to mags dot to string, and then we'll set our ammo text to be equal to so ammo text dot text equals ammo plus out of and then out of the mag ammo. And let's actually also set this in the start method. So let's add a void start. And also when we shoot, let's change the UI as well. So we'll type that right here. So I'm going to go into our player. And in this canvas right here, Let's add in a text for our ammo. So I'll duplicate the health text and we'll call this ammo text. And let's actually just put this on the other side so it's a little easier. And I'll align it. And just to preview this, let's do like 10 out of 30. And we'll duplicate it and we'll make one for mag text. And we'll make, we'll just shift this up a little bit. Make the size smaller. There we go. Let's just do five mags. So this is what our UI will look like. So let's actually reference this in our weapon script. So let's drag the ammo text in here and the oops and the mag text right in here disable the camera let's test so when you shoot our ammo goes down a bit and as you can see we can go into the 
<laughs> negative ammo. We'll fix that in a second, but let's also test if the mag text works. So let's hit R. And it's working perfectly. Sort of. Sort of. So in this fire function, let's add a new check. And let's check if ammo is greater than zero. Okay. This is awesome, and we now can't fire when we hit zero ammo, so we have to reload. Perfect. So what about playing a reload animation and also delaying the reload uh, based on the animation? So let's add that. Okay, awesome. So let's drag our player into the scene, and let's just disable our room manager for the time being, and also enable the main camera on the player. So let's animate this reload for the AK. Now, if you are using the same AK model that I am, it actually came with some animations in the file. We're not going to use them because there's some issues with the animations. So let's just create our own. Click on add component and animation, and then open the animation panel by hitting control six or going to window animation and then animation click create and let's make a new animation called reload okay so let's go to frame 60 and we can rotate this down and also lower the y and then let's just copy this frame right here with Control c and we'll paste it at around here so if we play this, we can actually make this faster. So let's try this. Okay, this should be good. Now you can select the animation in your project just by pressing here. And let's also drag that in here. So now we have a reload animation, but how do we play this when we reload? So let's add a new header up here, header animation, and we'll add a public animation called animation. And this will reference this component right here. And then we'll add a public animation clip called reload. Perfect. And then when we reload, we want to Type animation dot play reload dot name. So this plays our reload clip that we've referenced here. And when we fire, we actually don't want to fire if we're playing this reload animation. So we'll add a new thing here. So if animation dot is playing is equal to false. Okay. In the animation, make sure to uncheck play automatically. And let's actually just reference our both our animation and the reload clip in here. Disable the camera and we can apply this. And let's enable our room manager again. Okay, so we can shoot and then reload. Obviously can't shoot while reloading. Yeah, this is awesome. You can obviously build on this and, you know, make more fancy reload animations. In the next video, we'll add some procedural recoil. So when you fire this gun, it'll kick back a bit. So stay tuned. See you next time.